Chastity expresses respect for persons and their capacity for self-giving. It assures us that we are being loved for ourselves and that we are loving others for themselves and not only for the pleasure they can give us. In a culture that wants things immediately, chastity also teaches us to wait. Do we want sexual activity right now or do we want something more, even though it will take more time to achieve? To live chastely means not to give in to pressure, which can come from friends who think that engaging in sexual activity defines masculinity or femininity. Today's prejudice against chastity is especially disturbing because of the view of sexuality it implies, that we hook up with each other for pleasure. Not only is this an offense against the dignity of the person being used, but it also holds the user in bondage to practices that cause physical, emotional, and psychological harm. Moreover, despite its prevalence, the enslaving and addictive effects of pornography, especially on the internet, cannot be minimized or made light of. Chastity requires constant discipline. It means the right ordering of our hearts puts God first and everything else will follow. To live chastely means to live according to the design for which God has created us. The efforts to control one's sexual drives can be difficult, even painful. Yet control over them gradually leads men and women to sexual maturity and brings inner peace.